So hi, welcome to another video. Uh, as we're stuck in, in these uh, foreboding times and I've got a bit of time off work, I thought I'd do a video on all my tents at the uh, current status. I have uh, recently ordered an MLD Duomid XL in DCF with a uh, DCF in it. Cost a fair bit, but hopefully in the next few months we get out and we'll uh, get to see it. But today I thought I'd give you a look at my current tents. So without further ado, here they are. And there we go. There's the tents. I just get more pitched up in in my tiny little garden. You must excuse the actual state of the garden because at the minute, hold oh, it a sec. Tighten that up. Uh, I'm uh, currently renovating, so yes, I thought we would uh, start with the Ultra first, Terra Nova, Ultra Two, in DCF, very Gucci tent. Costs quite a bit of money that. It comes with uh, 0.5 Cuban fiber outer, and the inner is uh, ripstop nylon with a 0.5 Cuban floor. Now I ran out of pegs, so I haven't actually got all the guys out or anything like that. But yeah, it's a very nice tent. It comes with the uh, 0.87 mil DCA poles, which add to the weight its total weight is uh, 1.1 kilos but if you didn't have the poles which you do need then it would be uh, around 700 so next we have the uh, Sil Nylon MLD Trail Star which is a uh, 30D Sil Nylon the new one which is currently out is a uh, 20D which is Pro Sil Nylon which prevents misting but as you can see in there you can see the space that you get in these I pitched at 125 centimeters you uh, you get I think it's around 238 centimeters across but yeah it's a very big tent but very low to the ground which I've never liked but it is an absolutely stormproof shelter have considered getting rid of it in the past but I can't see me ever getting rid of it to be honest it is a state-of-the-art shelter for extreme wind so that comes in at 555 grams without the inner now I do have a new work works full inner basically and it's got a chicory floor and cube side walls and it fully fit inside there and I think it brings the total up to about 1.2 kilos it's quite heavy but for stormproof and room I can't complain so if we move on to the uh, Alterplex which is in uh, 0.66 camo cuban and yes it's an all-in-one shelter this which I really like for long distance just for the sheer headroom that you get in it and the space it's an absolutely amazing tent I've pitched that at with one pole actually I managed to get it at 140 it is meant to be pitched at 147 but obviously you want to pitch a lot of tents <laughs> you have to uh, spare some poles um, it's about 2.3 meters across so big enough for six foot plus yeah one of my favorite shelters that I do have the uh, the Plex here, but we'll get onto that one. But inside, you can see, all in one, knit mesh. Now people complain about condensation in these tents, but i found if you leave a door open, if it's not windy, then uh, you have no problem with that. So, we'll move on to the Z-Pax Plexi-Mid now. Apparently the most ultra light all in one tent that you can get now i do like the tent and, uh, but i have to send it back to get repaired because the uh these metal poles in the top seem to fail me through the nylon webbing strips as you may have seen in the uh, previous videos but it's also 2.3 meters across so it's good enough for a tall person 
but as soon as they sit up the problem is uh, they hit the walls basically because it's only pitches at 122 centimeters which is like the MLD uh, solar mid it's really low now if I was going to do weight differences from 422 to 555 yes it's a big big weight saving for long distance and this is why I'm uh, contemplating keeping it but can I keep both yes I can maybe not I don't know I want to it's uh, just a lot of money sat here but it's nice and sad you got the same length as the Alteplex it's just the walls for me they just don't seem to uh, give you the head height and if there is any condensation build up you're getting wet so we'll move on to the uh, Luke's Hex Peak. Now this is a, an absolutely amazing shelter for the price. If you can get it second hand, you're looking at paying about 100 to 150 for the full setup. I paid 100 just for the outer, which was worth it. It's made out of uh, 40D sole nylon, but the inside is uh, PU coated. But look at the space that you get it's uh, 233 centimeters across from peg to peg and you have your own special pole it's meant to pitch at 137 which i did try and it just doesn't work it needs to be 148 which is quite a big difference from what they recommend but yeah it's cracking a little shelter uh, i haven't currently got an inner for it at the minute but uh, I'm sure my friend uh, Phil will sort me out with that because I think he's off to getting rid of his. Uh, and then I'll have the full setup again. It's uh, absolutely a brilliant shelter. I've had this out in the Peak District in uh, 40 mile an hour winds. And it's stood its ground. But obviously now I'm getting the MLD Dua Mid XL, which is a bit bigger than this. And it's in Cuban. Yeah, I don't know. So, that's my current tent. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you're all uh, well. Hope you're all staying at home. If you're not a key worker, we'll see you again soon.